Hey guys, everything for iPod here with a new iPod Touch tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to configure your iPod Touch or iPhone themes using Winterboard. I kind of briefly went over this in my Cydia how to, how to use tutorial, but now I'm going to probably go more in depth in this video. So basically, an overview of what Winterboard is. It is a tool that lets you switch themes or these background images and icon changes to your uh, springboard. Sometimes it can change your background. In this case, it's like a little metal, uh, cool little texture thing. It can switch your icons. Like mine are all, let me try to, some of my different icons are glowy and little different things like that. It can sometimes change your slider like that and it can change your battery and Wi-Fi and other things depending on what theme you use so to get themes I went over this already but I'll try to tell you it again so you understand a little easier you open up City or installer whichever jailbroken app you use in this case I'm using Cydia you can also use Icy if you watch our Icy tutorial. Mm. We'll just go to sections, themes. Let's see. Hold on. And City of Crash. And it's loading. Can you go to sections? And it's reloading the data. Yay! Perfect. This is great. There we go. Go into themes, complete. There are tons of themes you can choose from. There are themes from ninja themes, complete themes, iTunes related, Family Guy TV show related, tons of different stuff. I'm going to do, hold on, let me read this, Killer Web Carbon. Sounds cool enough. You go to the top right, you do install, confirm. And then you just wait for it to download your theme. Complete just means it has a it's a complete theme with sliders, icons, and backgrounds, and sometimes Wi-Fi and battery symbols. Those are probably the ones that you would want to get because they're usually the coolest. There's also winterboard themes and stuff like that, which change the actual winterboard. You'll see. You will see. It can take different amounts of time to download stuff based on how fast your iPod is and based on how big the file is. So once it's done, it will reload the data again. And you go to return to Cydia. And we're going to click our home button and go back to the home page. But again, we need to wait till it loads. Not the fastest thing you'll ever have. And to get Winterboard, you would do the same procedure. You would go into Cydia, you would go to search, you would search Winterboard, and you would get it. Let's open it up. In Winterboard, it's just basically a bunch of text that you can select or unselect. 
All your themes will be listed here, which in my case, at the top, it says Killer Web Carbon. When you first install it, it comes preloaded with a theme called Sarik, which is like the nickname of the guy who makes Cydia or something. It's not that good. I would recommend getting your own. The ones that I recommend are Eyeglass, Soul, I-G-L-A-S-S-S-O-L, -S 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 I Would Realize, I W O O D realize and let's see what killer web carbon is. So once you select it and the other theme parts that you want, you'll go to your home screen and it's gonna have to reload your springboard just to change all the icons and stuff. And your icons like fly around which is pretty funny. There are some alternatives, like Summerboard, I think it is, and other stuff like that, that you can use to change. Okay, here's the theme. I already kind of hate it, but whatever. So this, it changed my image and it changed my slider. And now the icons are all like, squarey. Um. I guess this theme isn't too good. I don't like this theme too much, but you might. So that's just one theme. There are hundreds in Cydia and Installer. And that's really all you need to know on how to install and configure your winter board themes. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.